For today's video, we will be talking about base catalyzed ring opening epoxides. Our only rule that we have here is if the reagent is a base, then it attacks the carbon that has the least amount of substituents. So this we will be using bases to open an epoxide. And so it will attack the carbon with the least amount of substituents. And so this is our rule for base catalyzed ring open. Let's start out with an example here. We have this reaction going on. We have an epoxide. Now I drew that carbon on it. Now we use NaOH in this case, also with water. So it goes on the least uh, carbon will have the least amount of substituents. So it goes there. We open up the ring, okay, like this, OH, okay, and there's the carbon there and another OH, okay. So we put OH and OH. So I'm just showing you um, where what happened to what. We'll do the mechanism later, but we're just predicting the pr products. Let's do another example here. We have an epoxide. You have two methyl on the right and one methyl on the left. Let's use NaSH, also with water. Okay, so this is a base catalyzed ring open, so it attacks the carbon with the least amount of substituents. So that means on the left, we'll put the SH. Okay, um, also you can show um, the wedge stereochemistry here. So I put a wedge and a dash here, like this, as our product. Let's try another example here. We have this ring. I'm showing you a wedge here like this, an epoxide here. Now our reactants would be a base. We have NaCN in this time with water. So it attacks the carbon with the least amount of substituents. So that would be the bottom portion of this. We do like this. We have an OH there and also CN attached to the molecule on a wedge. Let's do the mechanism for this. The mechanism is fairly easy, simple. We have an epoxide. Let's use NaOH and a positive OH minus negative charge. Attacks the carbon with the least amount of substituents, but in this case, it doesn't matter. And it kicks off the electrons to oxygen. Before we, uh, we break the ring, uh, uh, negative charge there, OH there. Now water comes in to deprotonate that oxygen. Grabs the hydrogen, gives the electron to um, oxygen. Now we have our main product here, OH, OH, and a byproduct of OH minus. Let's try another example, doing the mechanism. Fairly simple, we have an epoxide here. Okay, we have this kind of structure. And also on the right. So we know that the right side has the least amount of substituents because we have a hydrogen there while the right, left side has two carbons. Let's use NaCN with water. CN has a negative charge, the lone pairs, okay? Goes and attacks that carbon and kicks off uh, to break the ring, gives it off the electrons to oxygen. We have this forming, CN on this. Uh, this is an inversion happened here. Everything went upwards. So we see the hydrogen now is in the middle and the CN is in the bottom. Okay, now we have the oxygen there with a the negative charge. We still have the structure like this, okay. We also um, will now bring the water into the protein of the oxygen. Oxygen's lone pairs goes, grabs the hydrogen, kicks off to electrons to OH. Our final product would be this, okay. OH, CN, and we draw the rest of the structure on this molecule. We also have a byproduct of OH minus in this case, but our final major product is this.